Today, the tattooed teenagers must battle the treacherous Neragula over and over again when Emperor Gorganus preps the galactic sentinels in a time loop. But the tattooed teenagers must break free of this never-ending nightmare before they're too exhausted to fight. Molecular, home planet to the diabolically evil Emperor Gorganus. Gorganus has vowed to use his army of alien monsters to conquer Earth the focal point of a system of power portals he needs to rule the universe. I am Nimbar, head protector of the power portals. To carry out my mission to stop Organus, I have chosen four teenagers from Beverly Hills. I summon them by flashing their tattoos. Then they transform into galactic sentinels. Scorpio! Horus! Centaur! Apollo! The fate of the Earth depends on these tattooed teenage alien fighters from Beverly Hills. your brilliant plan, Master? Behold. Your Angula? Oh, he gives me headaches. What's the deal, Master? Watch and learn. Watch and learn. Excuse me, Master. You're repeating yourself. That's the point, you mighty infested featherbrain. That is my brilliant plan. Repeating yourself? That's your brilliant plan? Fool! Noragula has the power to make the Sentinels repeat the same battle endlessly! Fool! Noragula has the power to make the Sentinels repeat the same battle endlessly! Get it? Oh, oh, oh I get it! <laughs> you are brilliant, Master! By the time Noragula has finished with them, the Galactic Sentinels will be too tired to defend themselves or the planet any longer! <laughs> Earth will be mine! <laughs> <laughs> Is everyone having a good time? <laughs> mm -hmm. Has everyone had a chance to see my award? How could anyone miss it? Hey, lighten up, Drew. I'm having a great time. Yeah. Even though you forgot to invite me? Yeah, no problem. So, uh, where's my 50 bucks? Mm. The view is worth every penny. Mm. And more. Mm. What? You invited him? No. Are you kidding? I snuck past security, climbed an avocado tree, almost ripped my jeans on the metal fence. You guys, what you will do to scope out babes. Babes? I'm here to see the guy who plays Android on Star Troopers. Well, 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 you didn't make him pay. Oh, he will. Sometime, somehow, he will. <laughs> oh, this is all just so exciting. Thanks for the invitation, Drew. What? I had to pay 50 bucks. Oh, well, I'm just here to cover the party for the school paper. Just look at the size of that award. Oh, yeah, Drew, what'd your aunt win that for anyway? Best Supporting Actress. <laughs> this punch tastes rank. Coming through. Hey! Something really bad's going to happen. He is a rock. 
interrupting more than usual. So, what's on the tube, Nimbar? Neregula, again. I thought we thrashed him last time. What's he doing back? There are virtually no limitations to what he can do when he puts his giant mind to it. You must defeat him before he causes a cataclysm of unbelievable proportions. this time, but you can't relax. I fear this is just the beginning of a terrible threat to our existence. Go home now. I will summon you when needed. Is everyone having a good time? Mm. Has everyone had a chance to see my award? <laughs> what? You invited him? Are you kidding? I snuck past security, climbed an avocado tree, then ripped a hole in my jeans on the metal fence. Major bummer. Hey, there's the guy that plays the android on Star Trooper. Hey. What? Why didn't you make him pay? Oh, he will. Sometimes. Somehow he will. Oh, I just can't believe all this. Thanks for the invitation, Drew. Two? What? I had to pay 50 bucks. Oh, well, I'm just here to cover the party for, for the... the school paper. Funny, I just had a deja vu. Hmm. Uh-oh. So, so, something's wrong. It's like a Twilight Zone deja vu nightmare. I know this is happening all over again. Drew, everything we're doing at this party, we've done before. Well, calm down. There's got to be a reasonable explanation. <sighs> right. Yeah. There's got to be a reasonable, rational explanation. Swinton! Swinton, I need your opinion. Mine? Do you believe in deja vu? Uh, interesting question, Gordon. Then answer it, OK? Well, I, I tend to subscribe to Einstein's view of space and time. Gee, my subscription ran out. You want to bring me up to date? Well, time and space are basically the same thing, so they could theoretically include the existence of what I call time loops. All I wanted was a simple yes or no. Well, time loops have the ability to repeat themselves, possibly endlessly. That's exactly what's going on here. Just like in the movie Groundhog Day. You see, this guy has to live things over and over and over till he gets things right. I'll, I'll prove it to you. A portal is going to open in the pool house. Ooh. Ah, this stuff tastes rank. Oh. See, I told you. Hey! I can't believe you just to me. Something really bad's going down. He is erupting more than usual. Aren't you guys listening? Can't you remember saying the exact same things the first time we showed up today? No. <laughs> Look, Nimbar, I think we're all in big trouble here. Yes, it's Naragula. Uh, excuse me, Nimbar, but don't you remember us already going through this? What are you talking about? You absolutely must defeat him before he causes a cataclysm of unbelievable proportions. I hate to say it. Gordon's right. I know we have done this before. I hate to gloat, but I told you so. 
I wonder how long this can go on. Don't worry, Lori. We'll kick his butt permanently. It's like that movie I was telling you about. Yeah, yeah. Ready? Exhausted. What happened? We look like this because we've already fought him twice today. Twice? Impossible. Do you believe in deja vu? Nothing but random neurological firings. Possibly. I believe we're trapped in a time loop. Neuragula is forcing us to fight the same battle forever. And frankly, I don't know how much more of this we can take. Maybe this will explain it, Nimbar. Did you ever see the movie Groundhog Day? Guess not. Go home now. I will summon you when I need you. Well, here's hoping everything's back to normal. Is everyone having a good time? <laughs> Has everyone seen my award? Tell me this isn't happening. Here we go again. You invited him, and I had to pay 50 bucks. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! That's strange. The word isn't as big as I remember it. It's funny how when you look forward to something and... No, 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 no! The time loop's not broken! We're stuck in party hell! I've never been so tired in my life. I could sleep for a week. Me too. If we can't fight and win, our only other alternative is to find a way to break out of this hideous time loop. I hope we come up with an answer soon. Wish I could clean Neragula's clock. Gordon! I think he's actually figured out the key to the problem. Our Gordon? Gordon? What makes you think Swinton's the only brainiac on this planet, huh? So, what did I figure out? The movie Gordon won't shut up about? The guy breaks the loop by changing the way he acts. Exactly. Listen, Neragla can only control us if all the other zillion events around us remain constant. So whatever we change will have a ripple effect, altering so many variables that everything spins out of his control. Including <laughs> us. Exactly. I think I've made my point. So. What do we change first? I know. Have Gordon swallow that punch for a change. Oh, that's just plain cool. 
have another one. Only if you give me back my 50 bucks and actually invite me to this shindig. You got it. A drink first. <laughs> Ah, ah, just as tasty as last time. May I have another? <laughs> I'm sorry, Drew, for crashing your party in the first place. Yeah, no biggie. It's not my party anyway. Uh, which reminds me. Nicole, where's your award? What's the matter, baby? Nothing. Everyone, listen up. In all the excitement, I forgot to congratulate my favorite aunt on her awesome award. <laughs> What's a toast without punch? Come on, everybody, step up, fill your glasses. Why should I be the only one gagging on this stuff? I know how long my devoted, loving aunt has been waiting for a day like this. To Nicole! To Nicole! <laughs> Why, thank you, dear. I never believed you thought much about show business. Oh, you'll never know. <laughs> So how's that for variables? <laughs> well, you know, I'm actually feeling much stronger. It must be working. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm Gordon. Were you waiting for that dressing room? Not really. Did we meet? I'm Melissa. It's nice to meet you, Melissa. Excuse me. <laughs> What took you so long? You have a difficult task ahead. His chief weapon is his ability to alter time. time. How did you know? Lucky guess. Anybody notice that little chat with Nimbar went differently this time? Yeah, but that's not the part that worries me. We're still not anywhere near back to full strength yet. And Naragul almost had us last time. And just remember, the more things we change... Also, our best weapon is the element of surprise. We change the plan of attack. Excellent work. Neragula had us caught in a time loop. Now he figures it out. <laughs> Congratulations, Swinton. Oh, excuse me, but I was the one who told him about the movie, and I had to drink that grudge punch to get the ball rolling in the first place. Gordon, my advice, get a life. <laughs> okay, could we get going? I've still got to interview Nicole. <laughs> Everything back to normal. If you can call this normal. <laughs> Is everyone having a good time? <laughs> I suppose everyone's had a chance to see my old award. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of tacky, I guess. <laughs> but it's mine. <laughs> well, if you don't mind hanging with the old folks, feel free to stick around for the rest of the party. Uh, <laughs> thanks, but I think we've all had enough partying for one day. <laughs> yeah. 
You can say that again. Uh-uh. Uh, better not. <laughs>